Welcome to my first video where today I will be teaching you how to draw a side view. Now remember, side views are still a three-dimensional object. You still need to give definition to the shape and give it shadow. Make it look like it's a real-life object and not something made in a 2D space. So first of all, we start with our ground plane. Draw our wheel. And remember, the wheelbase on most sports cars is three and a half wheels. So in between the two wheels, you should be able to fit two and a half wheels. I want that one in the end was a little bit wonky. Now you draw the bottom part. Now the greenhouse. back so now as you can see we got the basic silhouette of a car in a side view so next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black marker to trace the lines at the bottom and the wheels. I'm also going to do this later on with the uh, with the window. Well, that wheel sucks. We got the wheels in now and the ground and the bottom part. Now I'm going to add in the window. And now you can go design your car however you want. You can maybe do a fender right here. Do the shoulder line. Maybe a light catcher. The headlight. Now remember what I said earlier in the beginning of this video. This is a three-dimensional shape drawn in a three-dimension, in a two-dimensional plane. So we got to make it look real. We got to make it look like it has depth. So to do that, we're going to put in some, put in some shadows. And to, to put in some shadows, you need to know where your light source is coming from. In this case, my light source is coming from the top right there. So... You want some shadow in the bottom. Make your reflection. Now what we're going to do is put in the wheels from the far side of the car, fill those in. Do the air intake in the front. 
fill that in as well. Now, as you can see, it's starting to take a little bit of shape, a little bit of form. Now, another thing we can do is put in the interior. This is a frame of the far side window. Do a steering wheel. Some seats. And maybe do a reflection in the glass too. Reflection in the back. The ground refle reflection. Reflection in the front. Put in the shadow in the bottom. Now another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the wheels. So the wheels, um, if you want some wheels that have the deep dish wheels, you, you're gonna need to, you can center it, but then it wouldn't be so deep. So we're gonna put it right next to the center to make it look more three-dimensional. I'll do a wheel, a wheel tutorial later on in my channel. Now we do the shading since the top part is going to be facing the bottom and the bottom part is going to be facing the top. So I'm going to do some really easy five spoke rims. Three at the top and two at the bottom. And I give them this sort of curvy aspect so that it looks like the wheel is sinking in. Now we're going to retrace them. Just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to do the inside. Now you can color it black or you can do the brake disc, but I'm just gonna color it in black, just like that. Feel free to pause the video whenever you like to keep up. Now do the, another thing we can do is add some more shadow wherever you think that there will be shadow. I got to do the door cut, filling that in now. This is a pretty messy quick sketch. Now you can do take your time, do more, do a more refined sketch. Now 
Now the proportions are the A pillar and what how I like to do it is it usually rests on top of the of the center of the wheel we put in earlier. If you can see that. And now we are finished. Now you can do a background, maybe a shape like this, so that it looks even more three-dimensional. That way you can see the background. That's it. Thank you for watching. Now all I gotta do is sign it. And have a good day.